life to the fullest dot TV A big big learning community Uncle Roland and his friend Ready to listen and be your friend Yeah, yeah, live life Yeah, yeah, to the fullest Yeah, yeah, live life Yeah, yeah, to the fullest Big big potential is what you have The situation will drive you mad If disappointed or anxious Lost or confused and end in lust We will help you to take action Work together with one mission Live life to the fullest together Live life to the fullest forever Yeah, yeah, live life Yeah, yeah, to the fullest Yeah, yeah, live life Yeah, yeah, to the fullest Yeah, yeah, together Hey, maybe you can do a better job. All right, hear from you. Welcome to our Health Quotient 101. This week we are doing our National Day special. This was the second year our National Day parade has been held during the COVID-19 pandemic. The theme for the NDP 2021 is Together Our Singapore Spirit. Together suggests we Singaporeans coming together as one united people. Our Singapore spirit calls on Singaporeans to draw new strength from our can-do spirit in the midst of these challenging circumstances from the COVID-19. And there may be some other potential disruption in, in years to come. Let's ponder about what does our Singapore spirit mean to you? The National NTP 2021 team asked Singaporeans about the traits we share and this is what our people had shared. The attributes and the percentage is, in terms of the competitiveness, there's 10.54% says that we Singaporeans are competitive, about 10.4% say that we are hardworking and rank number third is resilient. And there are other attributes such as caring and discipline. Being competitive suggests a strong desire to win or succeed. No doubt, to survive, to strive and to find balance in such a fast-paced, success-driven lifestyle, we need to stay competitive, hardworking and being resilient so that we are able to withstand and bounce back from difficult times. So join our LLTTF Telegram channel by scanning this QR code on the screen. By joining our channel, you'll be able to share with us your thoughts. Maybe you can let us know, what does our Singapore spirit mean to you? Next, let's take a look of a wisdom quote. Family is the test of freedom because the family is the only thing that a free man makes for himself by himself. What do you think about this quote? Or maybe let me interpret a little based on my understanding. So actually, if we do not have a family, we are just a single person, that is what we consider as a free man. So if a free man decided to start his own family, this is a decision made for himself and made by himself. And so that is where this statement stays. Family is a test of freedom. You know, whether you want to value freedom or your value to have a family. Maybe I share a little bit more of me, myself, and my love meal. During this period where we are strongly encouraged to stay at home due to this restriction and the restriction on the dining out, I take this opportunity to cook for my family. As you can see from the screen, these are some of the dishes I try and enjoy cooking. There are things like, uh, for example, the uh, fried rice you wrap in an omelette. Uh, there will be like things like the macaroni, fried colored, wraps, uh, or even the next slide will show you things like we do oni, 
All right, we do uh, what we call this, uh, the carrot cake, which my kids like it a lot, the black and the white version. So if you have any interest of these dishes, maybe you can share with me more in this telegram. Uh, put, put up a comment and let me know which dish you are interested so that maybe I can share my recipe with you. So today our dish is nasi lemak. In Singapore, nasi lemak is a well-known Malay dish and is acknowledged as an important part of Singapore food heritage. If you translate nasi lemak from a Malay to English, perhaps you will get rich rice. But this rich is not meaning the wealth, that kind of rich, but it's more of like the creaminess, the cream, you know, to make it very rich, the rice. So nasi lemak can also be translated as rich in cream, or a reference of coconut milk, cooked in coconut milk, having the richly flavored rice. So as we are celebrating our national day, I'm going to make a national day special, healthy nasi lemak. Mm, you may be wondering how to make nasi lemak healthy, right? Yeah, so this is something I'm going to share with you. Let's look, about the, look for the first ingredient, the key ingredient for this dish, that is the coconut milk. So we have the coconut milk here. So coconut milk, you don't confuse coconut milk with coconut water. All right, you shouldn't confuse the two. All right, coconut water is actually the liquid inside the coconut. While coconut milk comes from the fruit, the white flesh, and when we extract the liquid from the flesh, that is considered the coconut milk. So either you can buy a mature coconut, remove the fresh and squeeze you know, the juice out from the flesh, or you can actually buy something like that. The ready-made one, you can easily get this from the supermarket. So you can see that uh, coconut cream, coconut milk is actually referring to the same thing. All right? There are quite a number of health benefits linked to coconut milk, including its ability to improve digestion, boost, uh, boost your circulation, reduce inflammation, even protect our heart health, stimulate weight loss, and increase energy. You may question, does coconut milk really help with weight loss? Some studies have actually revealed that a type of fats called the uh, medium chain triglycerides, if I uh, pronounce it correctly, in short, we know as MCT. This, these factors that's present in the coconut milk will help to promote weight loss because this MCT may boost heat generation to burn more calories. So now we know that coconut milk actually can have a benefit of helping weight loss, right? But having said that, this coconut milk is also high in certain saturated fats. So which is why you need to consume it moderately. So everything has to be moderate, all right? Um, let's go to the next ingredient that I want to introduce. This ingredient, you will see it in Nasanoma and it is the one of the most important ingredient it is the ikan pilis. All right, so here we have uh, some ikan pilis here. So ikan pilis is actually rich in protein, vitamins, and mineral minerals that help in good health. They contain calcium, iron, magnesium, sodium, zinc. It's also a good source of vitamins. Okay, such as vitamin C, B12, B6, vitamin A, E, and K. It also contains DHA that is great for our brain development. So, in the market, you will see a few kinds of ikan bilis. First, it's like this, what I'm holding is like the whole ikan bilis. That means it comes with the head and the body uh, organ is intact. So, this is the full, the whole ikan bilis. Another type you can see in the market is the cleaned ikan bilis. That means it's where the head and the bones are being removed. All right, so there are two types. So a food chemistry journal found that with a whole ikan bilis with the head, organs, and the bones intact, these are richer in nutrients compared to those clean ones without those parts. So how do you choose a perfect ikan bilis? So now I'm going to share the tips with you. It should be light in color. If you can see uh, on the plate or the one that I'm holding, it should be light in color and the stripes that run along the fish should be white or uh, light in color. So it shouldn't be dark, okay? I'm not sure whether you can see it, uh, but you can see that there's this line running across the ikan bilis. It should be white or light. And the smell, it should be a smell of aroma of the fresh dry fish and it's not stale. All right, this is important when you smell it. 
Yeah, so it gives you a good dry fish smell. The whole body should be intact without the missing bits of the fin, the tails or even the head. So the appearance should look something like that. It looks clean. All right, so this is the ikan pilis. Another ingredient that you may also find in uh, Lassiloma is eggs. So eggs here, we can have different style of egg. You can serve in a hard boiled egg style. You can fr uh, do the fried beaten egg. That means you put with the soya sauce or you can do sunny side up. So there are different ways that you can uh, make your eggs. So for this today, because it's a healthy style version that we want to promote, we are going to do hard boy egg. Okay, eggs itself are a very good source of inexpensive but yet high quality protein. More than half the protein of the egg is found in the egg white, which also include vitamin B2 and uh, there will be some Fats, uh, the fats in the white is actually lower than the yolk. So eggs are a rich source of vitamin D, B6, B12, minerals uh, such as zinc, iron and copper. So you may ask, is it okay to eat many eggs in a day? So a lot of people ask, right, oh, how many eggs I can eat in a day? So there's actually a science to show that it is clear that up to three whole eggs per day are perfectly safe for healthy people. Eggs constantly raise the HDL, which is stand for the high density lipo, uh, lipoprotein, if I uh, read it correctly. Yeah? So this HDL is actually a good source of cholesterol. For 70% of people, uh, there is no increase in the total or the LDL, which is the bad cholesterol. So for 70% of the people who take three eggs a day, they actually have no increase of the bad cholesterol. In fact, it has generated good cholesterol. All right. So in the market, there is many different kind of eggs. So you see the packaging. It say that oh, this egg is organic, it's free range, omega three and rich egg. So you wonder what are all these differences? And you can see there is a price difference in all these eggs, right? So how do you know the difference? So if eggs labeled as organic, it actually come from chicken that have not been taken the antibiotics. And the hen's diets, uh, the food that they eat, right, cannot contain any uh, chemical pesticide or fertilizer. So this is considered organic. So you know that if you get the organic egg, that means the chicken does not have any antibiotics. The other one that is commonly seen in the market is free range. So what is free range? Free range means not only the hens uh, are cage free, that means they are not in the cage, and they also given the opportunity to go outdoor access. That means they can run around in the field, yeah? not captured in the cage. So that is considered free range. Uh, another one that you will see is omega-3 and rich egg, which come from hens that were fed with a rich diet with omega-3 sources like flat seeds, algae. Okay? So as a result, because what they eat is what they produce, so their eggs are also richer in the omega-3 fatty acid. So how do you choose a perfect egg? So first of all, you, all these eggs are actually packed in the box, right? In the supermarket. So just do a inspect of the egg. Eh? I, I, it doesn't mean that you need to take out one by one and inspect, but from the casing itself, or maybe you slightly open up the, the case itself, you will be able to check whether is the egg is clean. And crack shell is important. A lot of time because of the transportation, when the supermarket is putting up on the shelf, there may be some knocking here and there, and accidentally it may crack the egg. So when we want to purchase anything, we just have to make sure that the eggs are clean and there's no crack on it. Take your time to inspect for any of the breakage. And also avoid buying out of date eggs. What does it mean? Because if you notice that every packaging, there will be a date print on the on the package right so uh, print on the box so keep a look out of that date try to avoid buying date that is already passed that means if the box show it as 8 of august and today is already the 7th of august or the 8th of august we try to avoid buying those eggs so you buy the fresher ones all right uh, and if eggs may be kept in your refrigerator for three to five weeks after you bring home with the store. That means even you purchase the egg and then you bring it home, you put it in the fridge, it can actually last three to five weeks after the date. All right? So if you are going to buy eggs, remember, check for the crack and also check for the dates. 
So you were thinking, ah, because my consumption of egg is very slow, you know, when I buy a packet of 10, it may be sit on my fridge for two weeks or so. Is it still fresh and safe for consumption? So I give you another tip, so how to test your egg for freshness. First of all, you can fill a bowl or a glass of uh, you know, water with cold water. So you fill your bowl or glass with cold water, about 4 inch, enough to cover the eggs. And you gently put your eggs inside the bowl or the glass. All right? And if it's a very fresh egg, this egg will actually sink to the bottom and lay on the side like that. Okay? But if the egg actually sinks to the bottom with the stand on a small end, like that, it means that, okay, it is still fine to eat, although it's not as fresh as if it's like that, all right? So if it's standing up like that, it's still fine, okay, as long as sink to the bottom. However, if the egg is floating to the surface or in between, you know, it starts to float, so it means that this egg is too old and it's not suitable for consumption and you should discard this egg. Okay, so now with this tip, I hope that you will be able to test, you know, whether your egg is it fresh enough for consumption. The next ingredient I would like to introduce to you is peanuts. So here we can see that there are some peanuts here. You can also easily get all these peanuts from the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Many people believe peanut is not as nutritional as nuts like almonds, walnuts or cashew nuts. But actually, peanuts have many of the same health benefits as those expensive nuts and should not be overlooked because of this uh, nutrition food. Okay, they, they are also nutritious. So peanuts actually helps to prevent heart disease by lower, lowering your cholesterol level. They can also stop small blood clot from forming and reducing the risk of having a heart attack or stroke. Among the nuts, peanuts are the second uh, nuts uh, after almonds when it comes to protein count. So studies have shown that people who take moderate amount of peanuts in their diet, they will not gain weight from peanut. In fact, peanut also help them to lose weight. Yeah, so today you learn two ingredients that can help you to lose weight, right? So one is the coconut milk, the other one is the peanut. So scan the QR code on the screen and join our channel to ask questions or share your comments. What are the health benefits of peanuts do you know? Maybe you can share your comments in our Telegram group. Now I'm going to introduce you the how to cook this nasi lemak. All right? So these are the ingredients that I would like to recommend, okay, to show it to you. First of all, we will have our coconut milk. So it's either you can get your coconut and you extract the juice or you can buy the ready-made packet one like that. All right, and I also have prepared a cucumber. Uh, we have some nasi lemak chili sauce. So you can actually use samba chili sauce or this nasi lemak chili sauce. So in the market, there's many. So I'm using this brand, which I've tried and it is very delicious. It's very yummy, okay, for this one. And we need some pandan leaf. That is where when we want to cook for the coconut rice, we need some pandan leaf to enhance the fragrance. Uh, we will prepare rice. Depends on how many people you're eating. Uh, let's say, for example, a cup, you can have uh, for one pack. If you've got two person, you may have one to prepare two cups. You will have your ikan bilis, peanuts, two eggs, and four chicken wings. I'm preparing actually for a two person servings. Okay, so you can prepare this ingredient. And you also see some sauce here. The sauce is actually meant for marinating the uh, chicken wing. So what I'm going to do first is to cook the rice, all right? So as you can see from my, this table here, uh, I don't have to ha do any frying or anything like that because everything I'm going to use is the rice cooker and the air fryer, okay? So what I'm going to do is that I need to wash the rice Okay, just give me a minute. Okay, so now you have washed, I've washed the rice and you can put some water 
as long as the water cover the rice, it should be enough. All right. If you want your rice to be softer, you can add more water. If you do not want to be too soft, then you can do lesser water. All right. So usually I will have like uh, just barely cover the rice. That's about all. And I'm going to add in the coconut milk. So it depends on how much uh, coconut you prefer. Uh, I like the coconut taste, so I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay, and you may also want to add some salt. It's about half a teaspoon uh, or lesser. All right, it's about half a teaspoon or lesser. And we're going to add the pandan leaf. I'm going to use two pandan leaf washed and you can tie in a knot. This pandan leaf will add the fragrance. Give it a stir before you cook because of the coconut. Right? So that you the coconut will not be like a lumpy. Alright, it will not have lumpy. You try to dissolve it. And just put the pandan leaf inside. Alright, so because this is a National Day special, so I'm going to do a little bit different. So beside the coconut, so I'm going to cook the rice in two portions. So the first portion is the, I'm going to make a Singapore flag. Alright, so the Singapore flag is consists of two colours, right? We have the white and the red. So this consider the white portion. So if you're going to do another one, you can cook another cup doing the same process, but you can add a little bit of colouring. A red colouring. So my experiments tells me that because once we add the coconut milk is white and when we add the red it turns out to a little bit pinkish. But if you want your red portion to be really red then perhaps you may need to reduce your coconut or omit the coconut for the red portion. Alright but for the white portion you can still continue to put your coconut and the salt. So if you want to do the red you will just have to put in about uh, one teaspoon, that's what I put, one teaspoon of the red inside, mix it, and when you cook the rice, it will turn out in red color, okay? Alternatively, from the food coloring, you can do natural food, things like, for example, the beetroots, uh, dragon fruit, the red color dragon fruits, or you can extract the juice and you can pour it in. The thing is that because of the dragon fruits or the beetroot that you're using, it may have that taste when you cook the rice, you know, it may have that flavour. So if you do not want to have the dragon fruit taste or the beetroot taste, then I would suggest that maybe you just use the food colouring will do. Okay, so this is easy, alright, this is easy. So we just have the rice, we put in the rice cooker. Okay. And we just cook as per normal, alright. Okay, so we just leave it there and let it cook. So the next thing that I would like to prepare Okay. Okay, it's cooking. Okay. Okay. The next thing that we are going to prepare is the ikan bilis. So what you do is that the ikan bilis that you get from the supermarket, usually I do I don't wash it. Okay, because I want to make it crispy. All right. So once you wash it, it become uh, there's water content. It will become soggy. So usually I will just uh, buy from the supermarket and then I'll just cook it direct. I just have to put it inside the air fryer. So you just pour the amount quantity you prefer into the air fryer with about 180 degrees, um, about six minutes or so. So after three minutes, I will take out and I will shake it a little bit and then I put it back. So it's about six minutes, you should get the crispiness. So here I have actually made some. So you can see the before and after. Let me show you. Eh? So this is before the air fry. This is after the air fry. All right. Uh, okay. So later I will display on the plate for you. So this is what we do for the ikan bilis. And the next thing that we may also want to air fry the peanuts, all right? So what I do is that uh, I do not wash the peanuts as well. It's the same reason because I do not want it to get soggy. So with the peanuts, I will put inside the air fryer, 180 degrees for the peanut is about five minutes or so. But in order to let the peanuts to have a nicer look, yeah? Okay, 
So actually I put some oil, so I just spray some oil on the peanut itself and I just let it air fry for about 5 minutes. So this is the before and after. If you are able to see this like that. Alright, so you see the colour, it looks so good. Yeah, so you just need to air fry it. It's simple. Okay, and the next one, it will be the eggs. For this, like I mentioned earlier, that we actually want it to have the healthier style. So I'm going to do the hard boiled egg style. Okay, but if you prefer to pan fry it sunny side up, by all means. Okay, so I also have my eggs ready. Okay, so this is my eggs. All right. So the next thing that I would like to share is the chicken wing. So instead of having our traditional fried chicken wing, I'm going to do the healthier style. All right. So I'm going to do the air fryer, air fry it. So now let's do the marinade. Yeah. So with this about four pieces, I actually chop off the tail. I only left the middle parts and the drum. All right. This is four pieces. I'm going to add in the marinade. So you can have your oyster sauce. Okay. Okay, it's about two spoon. Okay. After a while when you uh, get used to all this cooking, so you just use your estimation. Okay. But it's about two tablespoon. And we have the light soya sauce. Okay. It's about one tablespoon. And we have our sesame oil. It's also one tablespoon. Can have some pepper. Okay, this is something that is optional. Uh, I like this five spice powder. In Chinese, we call wu xiang fen. Okay, so uh, I like to have this little taste. I think it enhances the taste. So I just have, but not too much, just like that, a little bit. Okay, but this is optional. If you do not have this, it's perfectly fine. Okay, and then you just have a good stir and let it rest for about 20 minutes. So you want to have the chicken wing marinate and absorb all this sauce, right? So you just have a good stir and you just leave in the fridge, put it in the fridge or the room temperature is fine for about 20 minutes, okay? Okay, so while this is waiting for 20 minutes, actually uh, I have also prepared for the chicken wing. Okay, this is after how it looks like after I have air fried. Okay, so this is the before and after. Okay, so we have all these ingredients. Get ready. Okay. Let's go for a break and we'll come back shortly.
Okay, so now our rice is cooked, our chicken wing is also done. So let's see what do we have. Okay, so once your rice, the red color portion and the white color portion is done, what you can do is that you can find a square container like this, all right? And then you can just put half of it, the red color rice, and the bottom half, the white color rice. You remember that you have to compress it because ultimately we're going to do the plating later, right? So you need to have this box, the size, and you need to press it down. So what you need to do is that you keep to pressing so that it's compressed. All right, so that it can stay in the shape. So this is what you got to do. All right, so this is done. You just put one side. So our Singapore flat is just not the red and the white portion. What do we need next? So haha. -ha. So you notice that actually I have a prepared a coconut. All right. So this coconut is that firstly you can prepare the, the drinks, the juice, the coconut water as part of your drinks. And what about the flesh? The flesh maybe you want to take out like that. Use a spoon to scoop it out and then you will have this so perfectly nice shape. But what do we need to do is that we need to do the crescent and we need to do the stars. But this is a little bit challenging. Eh? So maybe you and your family members can give it a try. So what we need to do is that maybe we want to open it up. So how do we get the crescent? So I have tried experiments many times. I use a scissors to cut, I use a knife to cut, but haha, I found a trick. So as long as you have any cutter like that, a round one, what you need to do is that you just form your circle, okay? So you get your round shape out, something like that. Hope you can see, right? This round shape, and we do another and you get your crescent. So how big you want it to be? Perfect. You see, this is what you will get. All right. So this is crescent done. Ha ha. Now the star is a challenge because I don't have a star cutter. If you have one, then that will be easy for you. You just have to chop, and then you get your perfect star. But for me, I don't have it, so it's a little bit challenge here. So what I'm going to do is that I need to use my knife or scissors to try to cut out the shape. So uh, this is something that you can have fun with your family members. So my trick is that I have prepared something like that. I have prepared a few stars beforehand. All right. So my star may not look like a star, <laughs> but show us your challenge. Eh? Show, do I mean take up this challenge and show us your star. Can you get a perfect star? All right. So this is our stars. Okay. You managed to get something like that. Okay, okay, so now we got our stars one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we just put all this aside. Mm, maybe I want another one. This one doesn't look good. Okay, so now we got our crescent and the five stars done. So, what's next? Uh, next thing is that I want to cut the cucumber. All right, so this is. Uh, if you want to remove the skin, okay, it's up to your preference. If not, then you just cut it, slice it thinly. Okay, I like it to be thin. Maybe you can cut five, uh, then you can put in the shape of a flower, something like that. Maybe I can have two because this is uh, serving for two. Okay, done. So now we have all our decoration ready. Next, we are going to do our plating. So what we're going to do is that maybe we can get a tray. All right. Why you want to do to deco your food? Eh? It's because you want it to look presentable, right? Food plating is the process of arranging and decorating your food to enhance the presentation so that the improving by improving the presentation of your dish it actually adds value to the dining experience so it's not just the taste but it's also the experience through the texture the color the emotion you can even tell stories from your presentation so that is why it's important to do this so let's do this while we put this aside let's see okay 
So we have your rice ready. Ah, this is something that you know I have to make sure it's compressed. Huh? The rice must be compressed, okay? So this is I'm going to turn it over. Hope it works. Ta da! Hi! Ah, perfect. Okay, so now we have our flag here. Ta da! And we're going to do some decoration. Maybe we have the flower. Okay, something like that. And this is. Okay. And we're going to put our crescent and our stars. I think kids will love it. Right? Yeah. Oops. Okay. And we will have our ingredients. So now we can have some ikan bilis. Depends on how you want to creatively, you want to put it. All right. We can have some ikan bilis here. You may want to have some peanuts here. Okay. Seems it's too much. And you may want to have eggs. Aha, uh -huh, your eggs, huh? Maybe we want to cut into half. Cut into half. So this is perfectly for serving for two. Or maybe four. All right. So we have this egg here. Seems like our plate is too small, huh? We still have the chicken wing. Okay. But let me put the chili. Okay. So let's get some chili sauce here on top of the cucumber. Going. Ta da! Mm. So, this air fry, everything is air fry, so it's very healthy. Mm. We have running out of space. Maybe the egg comes over here. Okay, let me remove all these boxes and show you. Ta -da! This is our today special dish. NDP special Nasi Lemak healthier choice, healthier style. Hope you like it. So with this, let us go into enjoy a song. This is an NDP medley that we would like to present it to you. Enjoy the song.
going to challenge you to have the improvised version so as we know that for McDonald they has launched previously the Nasi Lomak Burger Pizza Hut has launched the Nasi Lomak Pizza I have also came across Nasi Lomak Sushi so how would you improvise your Nasi Lomak so you may want to share with us join our LTTF telegram channel Get into our family challenge invitation by scanning the QR code on the screen and participate in our this family challenge. Share with us together with your family members, cook this Nasi Lomak this weekend and show us your very own and creative Nasi Lomak. Send us a photo of you and your family members cooking this dish and also a photo of your dish. It is important to make time for family cooking together because there are plenty of benefits for your family your family is a team and reinforcing that bond will only make your family a stronger unit it is one of the best time to connect with your kids by creating something that everyone can enjoy especially during this weekend creating your family project cooking team create your family project cooking team by scanning the QR code and you get a chance to win a family photography session so that's all for today's program. I hope you enjoy this NTP special Nasi Noma Healthy Style.